Hiya, my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel and welcome to my weekly reads. Let me know um, how you've been this week. Have you had a good week? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll have a good old natter with you at the end. But first of all, I'm going to talk about what I've actually read. So um, I finished up reading Sanatorium by Abby Palmer. I talked about this in last week's weekly reads, so I'm not going to go on about it too much. Um, it's a Barbellian um, long-listed or short-listed but prize book and it's uh, about a, a person um, with who lives with chronic pain going over to Budapest and um, going over to the water rehabilitation things and also then coming back to the UK and her experiences there. It's sort of classed as non-fiction and poetry so and it's very very short so I thought this was a really good book, I enjoyed it, like it's probably not the right word but yeah it was a good book, very quick read um, and yeah it was perfect sort of to fit in between the space of the weekend and to, to choose out before the long women's prize long list was announced so yeah it was um, it was one i'm pleased i read reading about um chronic pain and things isn't always <laughs> easy for me but um i want to still want to support disabled authors and etc so yeah yeah thank you bob from bob the Rooker Art for recommendation so right the next book um i finished was i um was actual age eve brown um, by Talia Hibbert. This is the last book in the sister in the Brown Sister series and this is a book series that I'm reading with a lo load of other booktubers um, for the Sister Along 2023. So I'll link all their channels below. This month's hosts are going to be Charlotte from Books and Bargains, Chloe from Chloe Reads Books and obviously the main host, the gorgeous Victoria from What Victoria Read. So I, I'll, like I said I'll link all the channels below and come and if you're if you've read the books or interested in reading the books and you've still got loads of time to read them this month and catch up and chatter about it on the live show which i'll I, i'll i'll put links in the description if um the, if it's been announced etc or whenever so yeah um, i my thoughts on this book is the third so it's obviously the third in the series we follow eve brown and jay um, and she's at the beginning of the book she's going for an interview at a bnb and we meet to and she, um she goes for an interview with Jacob, who is the love interest. He is the owner and manager of the ZB&B. Um, this book, it wasn't my favourite, being honest. So, um, and there are reasons. So, right, Eve I loved, I completely adored her, but I found Jacob kind of like, I have already, this is the second time I've read this, but for some reason when I was reading it this time, Jacob kind of annoyed me more and it wasn't, Right, so, this, so Jacob is a character who is who is autistic, which obviously that's not a problem at all. And that was none of the um, his behaviours, um, his autistic behaviours, like, none of that was the thing I had the issue with. What I had the issue with was how he spoke to Eve. He kept on referring to her as a woman. And for some reason, like, it annoyed me. So, um, but then, you know, so that aside, like, the actual romance... It was fun, it was exactly what it did said on the tin, but um, Chloe Brown is my favourite book, which is the first book, and then also the second book, Danny Brown, I also loved this one. I did love, but not quite as much, so, and it's, my rating of it has gone down on the reread. So I still recommend this, the series, just, I think it just slightly and more annoyed me this time reading it. Um, so okay. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have read it slash reread it, and um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Right, the next book um, I read was, oh yeah, I started reading, because I'm, again, I wanted to try and, because obviously we've got the, I've got the women's prize book because I'm going to be reading now, um, I want to try and get ahead of my read-along, other read-alongs that I've been doing, so that's why I, I thought I'd, I got the Sister Along book done, and now I've started reading um, Royally Doris, so I've, I've got a plan to read 100 pages of this every week, so that by the end of the month, it will be done and again it, like reading 100 pages a week and breaking it down into short chunks makes it much more doable this um is the fourth book sorry to not say this is the fourth book in the our doris series me and my look by charles heathcoke my lovely friend we are doing a read along a, a literary doris along which so in january we read our doris in february we read um, indisputably Doris and Doris Ahoy and then in March we are reading Where the Doris which is obviously the fourth like I said in the series so um so if you want to hear my thoughts on this book then we'll be discussing this in the live show at the end of the month slash beginning of April 
dates to be announced and I'll put them in that again as soon as the dates are announced I will link it in the description so yeah I'm, I, I love this book I've already read this this is the, my, my most recent because I was I was a beta luckily enough to be a beta reader for this this is um probably my well this is my favorite of the Doris series this has got even though it's bigger it's got so much heart to it and I just I just love Charlie's books and I love Charlie's writing I know he's a friend of mine but that aside I still love the books so yeah I hope um, I'll put links in the description if you want to, interested in buying them or, and you can still join again as with the sister along you can still you're still welcome to come and join in and catch up and talk about the books with us in time for the live show in our time so yeah that's that right then I started then I could manage to put I put the rest of it and I could start to focus on the women's prize books and the one I was most interested in starting first, which is one that I, me and Charlie put on our, I think it was on our wish list actually, and it was Wandering Souls by Cecile Pinn. Um, and yeah, this is a, well, we're gonna be talking about this tomorrow um, in the live show. So tomorrow at 2 p.m. on the lovely Gem from Gemma Books Channel, me and Alice and Gem will be discussing this, uh, the, the whole Women's Prize um, books with um, our special guest which is Sarah from Your True Shelf again links in the description and I'll put a link to the live show so actually as I say tomorrow but as you watch this it's Sunday at 2 p.m which um, GMT so yeah and um, which will be only a few hours from probably when you watch it depending when you watch this video so yeah please come and join us and have a natter with us about the all the books chat about the long list um, tell us um, if you're reading and even if you haven't got any of the women's prize books yet and you've still got thoughts on the list come and share those with us oh, it's going to be so much fun so yeah um I won't talk about too much about Wandering Soul my thoughts on it now because I'll save it for the live show I'll tell you though I did really enjoy it and even though it's very short it packs a lot into those pages and I just think it's something that's very a, a sort of like it's an essential read at this time like in the way the world that we're living in so yeah I love this book I feel like it's going to be a favorite so well, it's a, it's a, so, yeah there you go um <laughs> so that's the books that I have finished so far now on to the books that I'm currently reading which will be no surprise it they are still women's prize books so um I literally just finished reading Wandering Souls not, um like last lot just last night so um this morning I started I picked up um, I'm a fan by Sheena Patel on my e-reader um, and I haven't read very much of it but what I have read I will tell you I just think it's a very weird and unique book and um, this is about a sort of like internet obsession and I would say obsession in general and um, it's very very quirky and again you'll probably hear more of my thoughts on this tomorrow but yeah um yeah, if you've read I'm a fan, please let me know in the comments below because I really want to talk to someone about it. I feel like, I feel very mixed about it because there was parts of it, like, I have obviously only read a very small amount of it and um, because it's a very small book, small drop book anyway, but the bits that I read, I was like, half of it, I was like, oh my god, this is so good. This is like the best thing ever. And then half of it, I was like, what am I reading? Anyway, I started listening to The Bandit Queens by Parini Shrov and um, this on um, um, script, I've got this and again i'm very very early doors into this i think this is meant to be like a feminist sort of revenge story i think something like that about women who are killing their husbands i think for like husbands that are violent and etc um and yeah so that is like i'm very like i think i've only listened to like one chapter like i'm very like or two chapters very very early doors so yeah, i don't really have a ton of thoughts on this one so far but yeah so yeah um, but yeah, that's what I'm currently reading. Um, in terms of, so obviously we'll talk about the Women's Prize. You're going to be hearing me talk about it on over on the um, on the Gems channel. But I I was I was happily surprised with the long list. So the books I've um, I've read four out of the long list that um, I've read four so far. I've read Demon Copperhead, um, Memphis, The Marriage Portrait, um, Glory. Obviously, because that was booker listed um and then obviously wandering souls let me know your thoughts um on the women's prize book like i said come over and join us this afternoon on the live so that's that um in terms of the rest of my week um i didn't get to tell you last week one of the things i forgot to mention my little sister um 
has got kittens um has got recently got kittens so we spent quite a lot of time over there so i will insert some footage of said kittens um their names are marble and misty i think they're russian blues they're gorgeous little kittens and they're so mischievous and so sweet and so funny and we just love them so much they just melt our hearts and um yeah so insert cute kitten photo footage there Aren't they cute? Right, um, <laughs> uh, one of the other things have, uh, this week, I, I was actually very sociable and um, I say sociable because I went out and went to the cinema um, and the film, I wanted to tell you because the film, I, I recommend the film completely. I thought it was a really, really good film. And this is, I went to see What's Love Got To Do With It? This is a film starring, so we're, we're starring Lily, Lily James and Shazad Latif. And this, um, so Lily James stars as um, Zoe and um, Shazad Latif stars as Kaz. They're, um, and they're next door neighbours, they, they grow, grow up together essentially. Zoe is a documentary maker and she has found out that Kaz um, is going to be having an arranged marriage. And so she's decided that she wants to make a, um, a, do a film project on this. To, um, which is to start so to study the success of uh, arranged marriages in contemporary British society so um but obviously it's cute it's funny it's sweet but it also talks a lot about like it also talks about issues that's going on today to do with racism etc and um, and it's just really 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 gorgeous it's a fun it's a like it's a, it, it, it has serious moments, but it also has funny moments. It's also starring Emma Thompson, who is um, Zoe's mum, and she is hilarious. I just love her so much. Also, I love the grandma in this movie, um, Kaz's grandma. He, she is also really hilarious. She also made me laugh a lot. Have you seen this movie? If you have, um, or are you interested in seeing this movie, let me know in the comments below so I can natter about it with you. So um, I think that is me. I'm trying to keep this short today don't have a lot of energy um but yeah so let me know how you guys are let me know what you guys have been up to and please join me Gem, alice and sarah for the live show at 2 p.m take care and send you guys lots of love goodbye <laughs>